Imagine the battlefield transformed, no longer bound by predictable arcs. A new class of weapon slices through the atmosphere at speeds exceeding Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. These are hypersonic missiles, game changers in modern warfare. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, they do not follow fixed paths. Instead, they can maneuver mid-flight, making evasive turns and unpredictable shifts rendering existing defense systems nearly obsolete. Picture a missile hitting its target in mere minutes, leaving virtually no time for detection or response. This incredible speed, combined with their ability to fly at lower altitudes, makes them incredibly difficult to track with conventional radar. From hypersonic glide vehicles that detach from rockets and glide through the upper atmosphere, to hypersonic cruise missiles powered by cutting-edge scramjet engines, these weapons redefine strategic strike capabilities. The race to develop and counter these formidable systems is accelerating, promising a future of unprecedented challenges and technological innovation in global security. Today, we're thrilled to share the nine fastest and most exhilarating hypersonic weapons poised to revolutionize our future. Number 9. The Mako the Lockheed Martin Mako is a multi-mission hypersonic missile that was unveiled in April 2024, and it is designed to achieve speeds of Mach 5 or greater. In addition to its remarkable speed, the Mako is highly maneuverable in the hypersonic regime, making it exceptionally challenging for current air defense systems to intercept. Unlike traditional missiles, it does not follow a predictable ballistic trajectory. As a multi-mission missile, the Mako is intended for various roles, including anti-ship, land attack and counter-air defense missions. One of its most significant features is its compact design, which allows it to be carried internally within the weapon base of the 5th generation stealth fighters, like the F-35AC and F-22A. This makes the Mako the first hypersonic weapon compatible with these advanced aircraft. Additionally, it can be carried externally by a wide range of other aircraft, including F-A-18 Super Hornets, F-16s, F-15s and the P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. It may also be launched from surface ships and submarines via vertical launch systems equipped with a booster. At number 8, the ASN-4G. The initials ASN-4G stands for Air-to-Ground Nuclear a fourth generation. This highly anticipated missile is a French nuclear-armed scramjet-powered air-launch hypersonic cruise missile currently under development by MBDA France. It is intended to serve as pre-strategic deterrent, functioning as a warning shot before the full deployment of France's submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Designed to achieve speeds between Mach 6 and Mach 7, the ASN-4G will have an operational range exceeding 1,000 km, more than double of the range of its predecessor. It utilizes a scramjet engine, and the missile will be equipped with a new nuclear warhead, likely named TNA-4G, which is estimated to have a yield of around 300 kilotons. The ASN-4G is being developed for integration with the Rafale F-5 fighter jet, which is also currently in development. Additionally, it is expected to be compatible with France's future combat aircraft, the next generation fighter, as part of the future combat air system FCAS program. The missile will also be deployable from French aircraft carriers. At number 7, the Brahmos 2. India and Russia are jointly developing a highly anticipated hypersonic cruise missile that is a continuation of their successful partnership which previously produced the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. The defining feature of the BrahMos-2 is its projected speed, which is expected to reach between Mach 6 and Mach 8, positioning it as one of the fastest, if not the fastest, cruise missiles in the world. Unlike the current BrahMos, which utilizes a ramjet engine, the BrahMos-2 will be powered by a scramjet engine. India's Defense Research and Development Organization has made significant advancements in scramjet technology. Demonstrated by a successful ground test of a scramjet combustor that lasted over 1,000 seconds in April 2025, 
The Brahmos 2 is also expected to have a significantly increased operational range of approximately 1,500 kilometers, a substantial improvement from the current Brahmos's range of up to 800 kilometers. Similar to its predecessor, the Brahmos 2 will be a multi-platform missile capable of being launched from land-based mobile launchers, surface ships, submarines and aircraft such as the indigenous LCA Tejas. At number 6, the Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile The HACM is a vital air launch hypersonic weapon program being developed for the United States Air Force. This initiative is led by Raytheon Technologies, with Northrop Grumman supplying the HACM, utilizes an air-breathing scramjet engine, enabling it to maintain hypersonic speeds while flying within the atmosphere. This approach differs from boost glide vehicles, which are initially launched by a rocket and then glide to their targets. The scramjet technology allows for more efficient and sustained high-speed flight. The HACM is designed to offer military commanders tactical flexibility in striking high-value, time-sensitive targets from standoff distances. One of its significant advantages is its compact size, which enables it to be carried internally by fifth-generation stealth fighters. Reports suggest that the HACM has an operational range of over 1,900 kilometers. Number 5. The Zircon this terrifying Zircon is a hypersonic, nuclear-capable cruise missile primarily designed for anti-ship warfare against large surface combatants, such as aircraft carriers, but it is also capable of land attacks. Its key strategic role is to enhance Russia's ability to penetrate advanced missile defense systems, and one of its defining features is its incredible speed, which is reported to reach up to Mach 9. The Zircon utilizes a two-stage propulsion system. A solid fuel booster accelerates the missile to subsonic speeds during its initial phase, followed by a sophisticated scramjet engine. Some reports suggest that the missiles generate a plasma cloud during hypersonic flight which may help absorb radio waves, making it more difficult to detect with conventional radar. Russia has also confirmed the use of Zircon in combat during the invasion of Ukraine with debris from attacks in early 2024 showing remnants consistent with this missile. At number 4, the Dongfeng-17 The Dongfeng-17 is a crucial part of China's expanding hypersonic arsenal. It is a medium-range ballistic missile, specifically designed to deliver the Dongfeng-ZF hypersonic light vehicle HGV. This combination creates a powerful weapon with unique capabilities that pose challenges to traditional missile defense systems. The DF-17 itself is a solid-fueled medium-range ballistic missile that serves as a booster. The DFZF HGV is reported to reach speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10 during its glide phase. U.S. intelligence estimates suggest that the DF-17 has an operational range of 1,800 to 2,500 kilometers. This range allows it to target key locations in the region including U.S., military bases in Japan and South Korea. The DF-17 is believed to be capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear warheads. While Chinese commentators often highlight its conventional role, particularly for precision strikes against high-value targets like air defense systems or naval assets. The U.S. intelligence agencies regard it as nuclear-capable as well. Additionally, the DF-17 is a road mobile and mounted on a 10x10 military truck chassis. At number 3, the long-range anti-ship missile. India is making significant progress in developing its own long-range anti-ship missile which is a crucial addition to its naval capabilities, especially given the evolving maritime security landscape in the Indian Ocean region. This highly anticipated missile has recently undergone testing, and in November 2024, the DRDO successfully conducted a flight trial of what it officially termed its first long-range hypersonic missile, which is capable of carrying various payloads over distances greater than 1,500 kilometers. Reports from March 2025 confirmed that this LRA-SHM hypersonic glide missile reached an astonishing speed of Mach 10. 
latest variant utilizes a Delta Wing hypersonic light vehicle HGV mounted on a missile booster, allowing it to perform complex terminal maneuvers and follow highly adaptable flight paths. At number 2, the FATA. Iran unveiled its first domestically developed hypersonic ballistic missile in June 2023, presented by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Iranian sources assert that the missile can reach speeds between Mach 13 and Mach 15. It features a two-stage solid-fuel propulsion system, with the first stage designed to rapidly propel the missile out of the atmosphere. What sets this missile apart from traditional ballistic missiles is its hypersonic glide vehicle warhead. The missile has an estimated operational range of 1,400 km, which can be extended. It carries a conventional warhead weighing approximately 1,000 kg, which contains up to 500 kg of high-explosive payload. There have also been claims regarding the possibility of a nuclear warhead capability if Iran were to advance its nuclear program further. At number 1, the Avangard. Unlike a conventional missile, the Avangard is launched as a payload aboard an intercontinental ballistic missile and upon reaching a suborbital altitude of around 100 km. It detaches and glides towards its target through the upper atmosphere. Avangard is reported to reach an astonishing Mach 20 to Mach 27 and possibly even up to Mach 30 during re-entry. The Avangard is versatile with the capacity to carry either nuclear or conventional payloads. The nuclear variant raises important considerations, with potential yields exceeding 2 megatons. Moreover, the tremendous kinetic energy generated at such high speeds means that even without a warhead, Avangard can produce devastating effects. Avangard is set to integrate with the upcoming RS-28 Sarmat, a powerful Russian ICBM that has a range of up to 18,000 km, allowing it to strike any targets on Earth. With this, we the Buzz is signing off for today, but we'll see you guys again in our next video. Bye-bye.